So, I thought I would go over today something interesting brought to my attention by a Truthstream Media quote tweet. And uh, what this was, was a uh, thread done by uh, the America First Legal Team. Now, just to be clear, I'm not crazy about uh, America First Legal. You know, like, their whole shtick is Republican ACLU. That's it. That's the joke. Um, and ultimately, uh, I'm not a fan of the original ACLU or what it did, so cheerleading for Republicans won't be a good um, sort of antidote to cheerleading for Democrats, which is what the ACLU basically turned into. Um, and it's one of the reasons that all these, like, acronym organizations, a a a ACLU, ADL, um, SPLC, they all want you to forget all the work they did uh, exposing the Azov Battalion and other new and other Ukrainian Nazis. Um, they want you to forget that because it's a lot easier for them to push Democrat agendas if you forget that the current Democrat administration is um, responsible for sending those people tens of billions of dollars. Uh, so remember that while I read this, um, and that this is the Republican version of that, um, and that it's, you know, uh, it's, it's with no pleasure that I align with these people, but there is literally a secret government portal in the Twitter moderation system that allows them to, um, like, have expedited moderation if they are a person that Twitter trusts. In this particular case, what they did with that, this secret expedited portal, was a CDC employee got uh, expedited report access. And basically it's like this, this secret portal that lets them report things with priority. And um, for, as somebody who got banned from Twitter once for one and a half years... Uh, after tweeting something suspicious of the virus, um, yeah, that kind of fucks with me. Um, especially since this uh, panel, like this portal, isn't just for uh, COVID disinformation. It's for all of it. And they're willing to let in government employees, which means that also uh, anything else that I posted uh, could have been subjected to the same stuff who knows i certainly don't but effectively uh the the general gist i want you to get from this is that the government is literally participating in censoring your tweets that it's a public private partnership between a government entity and twitter so twitter had this as a mechanism likely still has this as a mechanism and uh, that's why, you know, people are still being censored <laughs> as we fucking speak. Um, people are being banned. People are still off the platform. I've got a list of accounts that are still gone from Twitter um, from before the ban, while Andrew Anglin is allowed to be on, who is a notorious uh, Nazi who runs the largest Nazi site on the ClearNet. Um, the Daily Stormer. So Twitter is making very specific choices about who they uh, respect the free speech of and who they don't. And a year and a half after my ban, they eventually lifted that ban um, and said that the reasons that they, that they gave to everyone that they uh, told that I was banned, those were all lies. And so their, their, their moderation was either you know, a biased human, and they lied about it having been automatic moderation, or it was automatic moderation designed to, you know, <laughs> serve a specific agenda either way. Because I had a whole lot of good and useful information on that account, and uh, now you can't even search it. Um, and also, uh, Weekly Hellscape is currently banned, um, and... I, it, it's not lost on me 
that one of the last things that I uh, tweeted on that account was critical of Elon Musk, and that I tweeted a lot of critical of Elon Musk stuff from the Weekly Hellscape. Uh, while I also used the Weekly Hellscape podcast to say some things against Musk. And suddenly, Musk is here and my account is not. So it's not fucking lost on me, Twitter. I, I see your game. Um, and I also see your game uh, suppressing my tweet uh, with the link to the video from yesterday uh, in it, saying that it's like, you know, <laughs> it, it needs this warning. It's it's super evil content. It needs this warning. Um, meanwhile, you can literally look up the word that they're probably uh, bitching about. Um, <laughs> cucks on Twitter. And you can see there's so much cuck porn. Just actual porn. Things that need a warning that don't have it. So, they're censorious little bitches. Um, and <laughs> I filed my report you know, because it's bullshit. Help us better understand why this misleading info label is a mistake. What misleading info? What? So, I, I, I appealed, but it's not going to work. They're not going to do shit. They want to censor my content. Um, so, I, I, I figured that I would have all of that right out in the open there. Because um, there's there's this list here of people that have been censored for a long time. And this list here of people that have been censored for a long time, um, that violates some of the uh, principles that the government would rather you have, which is obsequiousness, which is doing what we say and believing our narratives, which is, you know, having a spine and standing up to us. Um, so with that in mind... This is the thread. Following the Twitter files, AFL has obtained new documents uncovering a secret Twitter portal U.S. government officials used to censor dissenting COVID-19 views and violate the First Amendment. Follow along for disturbing findings from the 500-plus page release. In August 2021, the head of Google's news lab for the Asia-Pacific region, APAC, uh, emailed a CDC vaccine confidence strategist to invite her to the APAC's Trusted Media Summit. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? We are back to preparing for the APAC Trusted Media Summit, and I wanted you to, and I wanted to check in and see if there were any updates to the program you were recruiting for last year or something related to lessons learned. We'd love to have you back to speak on the program and learnings. Or if you have suggestions about who you think would be a get great speaker or panel, we'd love your advice. Many thanks, Irene J. Liu. Um, from, like, from her to uh, Elizabeth Wilhelm of the CDC, DDPH, SIS, CGH, and GID. Um, trusted media, gotta love that. And what it was, CDC's vaccine confidence strategist then emailed the event planner for Google's APAC Trusted Media Summit, noting her excitement over being invited to what she referred to as the coolest misinformation fighting speakeasy. <laughs> it's right there. Um, and that the, uh, the same CDC employee was then invited to the summit to give a keynote addressing how the CDC was working with WHO and other international organizations to address the so-called infodemic and using social inoculation to mitigate it. COVID-19 misinformation, immunization attitudes, and acceptance of a future SARS-CoV-2 vaccine we will be using human-centered design approaches to co-develop a social inoculation intervention designed to increase self efficacy in identifying and addressing and mitigating the infodemic. <laughs> U.S. CDC, in collaboration with UNICEF, WHO, and IFCN. And then on May 10th, 2021, a Twitter employee recommended to a, a CDC official to enroll in Twitter's partner support portal. 
which he described as the best way to get a spreadsheet like this reviewed. And, uh, and the comments were, thanks for sharing this. Agree, these are important trends to note. A quick scan shows that at least some of these have been previously reviewed and action. I will now ask them to review the others. Carol, remind me, did you have a chance to enroll in our partner support portal? In the future, that's the best way to get a spreadsheet like this reviewed. It was like, you know, a bunch of information about like, you know, terrible mean tweets that said things that they didn't agree with. Violated their narratives and their fucking norms. So you can't have that. You got to go have the partner portal do something about it. On May 11th, 2021, the CDC official enrolled her personal Twitter account into Twitter's partner support portal, which allowed a special expedited reporting flow in the Twitter help center. Hi, Carol. I'd be glad to enroll you in our partner support portal, which allows you a special expedited reporting flow in the Twitter help center. It worked very well with census colleagues last year. You need a Twitter account and to be logged into that account to access the partner support portal. What account or accounts would you like me to enroll? Your account works fine. I'll proceed with processing your enrollment. So it's like, she's like, does it need to be the CDC account or my personal? If CDC, I'm going to have someone on staff enroll instead of me. So, to summarize... Uh, she enrolled her own personal account, uh, not the CDC, because that might be audited someday as part of, you know, Freedom of Information Act requests. Um, and this helps insulate from criticism and accusations, rightly uh, placed accusations, of illegality and collusion and corruption. Uh, she used her own personal account because that was much easier to get what she wanted. What she wanted was her bullshit muscled through. She wanted the CDC, um, WHO, WEF, all these huge organizations. She wanted them to be able to decide whether or not you can tweet your tweet. And Twitter said yes. That should say everything you need to know about that. These people are not your friends. They're not on your side. They are with the enemy. And the fact that Elon Musk hasn't publicly gotten rid of this, the fact that my podcast account is now banned, the fact that so many accounts are fucking banned still, but Andrew Anglin gets back, that should tell you everything you need to know about the new paradigm. And the fact that my tweet got this fucking label applied to it, even though... Um, it's not fucking problematic content. I'm talking shit about Bernie. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> it's political speech. It's protected under the fucking Constitution. And his my Constitution approach to, you know, the, the content moderation is clearly not fucking good enough. Because he's clearly not not okay with um, certain types of political speech or certain types of speech in general. That's why the Elon Jet account is now banned because it said where Elon Musk was flying to with public information. Gotta suspend that. Can't have public information flying around. That'd be too free speech. Woo! Shut it down! And like, you know, meanwhile, uh, fucking every other platform is, like, trying to jump on board, saying, we're going to be the better alternative to Twitter. We're going to do it right. <laughs> oh, man. Trying times for a truth seeker indeed. And uh, in case you're wondering about your own personal security, this video is brought to you by Liberty Professionals. Link in the description. Um... And they will help you secure your home, small business, and life. They will do bug sweeps. They will uh, do remote security audits of your premises. They will uh, do security audits and paper servings if you're in Texas. Um, you know, there's plenty of things they do. And uh, guy runs it, ASIS board certified uh, security professional, private investigator. 
And uh, he is now also in Texas, which uh, he moved there in order to get uh, a little bit freer. So I think we can all sympathize with that. Uh, but check the link out in the description. That's what lets me keep doing this is sponsors like that. Uh, also, check out Brushfire2048. A uh, guy who uh, wrote it is a uh, longtime supporter of this content, and uh, he supported this content uh, again last month. So I'm filling out my uh, my ads for him because I, uh, I I always appreciate that support. So if you want him to continue supporting this content, uh, feel free to buy that book for the conspiracy theorist on your list. And you know that these conspiracies are uh, full well true. I hate it when people say that something is not a conspiracy because of these facts that uh, that prove it. No, it's a conspiracy. It's a factually proven conspiracy. Or, this isn't some conspiracy theory. Yes, it is. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because conspiracies happen all the time, and the state is the chief perpetrator of these conspiracies. And the state has been conspiring with the, the, the trust and safety team at Twitter and its own private and secret security portal where they're like moderating and censoring tweets that they say aren't true. It's literally 1984. The conspiracy is now. And it's not just them. It's also Facebook, which I talked about them with the Atlantic Council. I'll probably... Uh, debunk some of the bullshit that was said on uh, Philip DeFranco not too long ago because, you know, he uh, he had a guy from the Atlantic Council on his show to discuss how, oh, damn, shucks, the misinformation is just too much. Look at, look at this guy. This guy is such a fed. You can tell it immediately. And you don't even need to know that the Atlantic Council, as I wrote in my Facebook is not a private company article, um, is a NATO-funded and European and Gulf uh, monarchy-funded fucking uh, propaganda portal. You don't need to know that to know that this guy's a Fed, you know? Uh, but in the same article, I, uh, I, I posted a quote from Snowden that said, Businesses that make money by collecting and selling detailed records of private lives were... Um, <laughs> were... Uh, once plainly described as surveillance companies, their rebranding as social media is the most successful deception since the Department of War became the Department of Defense. I think that fairly well sums up every reason you need to smash the fucking state.